what's up guys and welcome to this achievement guide in WWE 2K14 this is the epic match achievement worth 50 gamer score and to get this you need to kick out of Undertaker's pin in the defeat the streak mode five times in a single match pretty easy achievement to do um, when you use this workaround that I'm about to show you um, going into the options and turning down the sliders helps but not by much so what I would do is I'd go to uh, create modes and then um, create a move set now you can reset um, the move set to default so don't worry about completely screwing up Undertaker's move set and then trying to work out what the move was you, you can just reset it to default and it'll do the signatures and finishes as well so what you want to do is you want to go to running attacks and um, then to running grapple and uh, set the running grapple to crucifix which is that that can he can pin you off that but he can also just hit it without the pin um, and this is useful because he can obviously then pin you off it and he he's able to pin you he will pin you if he thinks you're worn down enough and it's not going off the finisher so it's a lot easier to kick out of it and you'll see that when we go into the match so uh, grapple from behind uh, I thought you could do the crucifix again turns out you can't um, so sort of give up on that ground strikes you don't need Irish whip rebound uh, the attack obviously you can't change but the grapple you can and you want to change that to a power slam uh, preferably power slam 6 because it's the pin combo one uh, I just take a while to find it because uh, I was looking for the crucifix again or another move with a pinning combo and I thought it was called a uh, pump handle slam at first so I was looking for pump handle slam um, but it's not, it's, a pow it's power slam 6 you want to select uh, for Irish Whip Rebound. And uh, again, like I said, it's a pinning combination move, so again, he can hit it, you, you basically run at him, he can hit you with a power slam and pin you. And um, yeah, that is that. As you can see, the damage it does the body, he won't pin you until your body damage is red. Um, so now that's the power slam six so I'll just um, yeah and uh, the um, other ones you want to select them all to power slam six if you can because uh, that's then um, the only move he's going to do for this one uh, there's not really much you can choose uh, for the bottom selection in Irish with rebounds because there, there isn't any power slam so just leave it or you can just do um, an attack it's just weight detection there won't be any weight detection really um, because um, for this example I'm going to use my created superstar uh, but you can use anybody um, there's no real preference but I've then changed this moveset to a face buster because he's not going to slam me I'm still going to be uh, standing up so he can hit me with a grapple from behind or he can run at me and do the crucifix so you know he can still pin me from it uh, for pullback attacks you want to go for the pullback power slam because again it's a pinning combination move and for weight detection just just leave it as it is uh, anytime you can pick pullback power slam pick pullback power slam um, and then you want to go to the special moves and uh, you'll be turning off um, the abilities by the way so he won't have a comeback so don't worry about that uh, you will be wanting to select none but not on the first finisher uh, you want to be looking for a finisher called Rolling Pin. Uh, this is basically a move where he throws you onto the floor uh, and rolls over you and pins you. And he doesn't have to pin you from it either. So, you know, it's, a, it's quite a light move. And then for the second finisher, you want to select None. And uh, uh, Signatures, sorry. And for finishers, you want to do the exact same. You want to select Rolling Pin as the first finisher. And again because it's the same as signature so we can hit it once and then he can hit it with you again and you've got two chances to kick out of it 
And the second finisher select none. The alternate finisher uh, selects whatever because there's not really a rolling pin. So, you know, he can't, you know, hit it because there isn't a rolling pin. Because he can't do it sort of, you know, there's no, no alternative to it. Uh, there's no Power Slam 6 either, so I just went with a simple DDT, um, because why not? Finally, in moveset, you want to go to abilities and turn every single ability off, because he, then he won't have a comeback, he won't have the outside dives, he won't have resiliency, etc, etc. So, basically, he's not going to have these abilities that make him sort of give you an advantage. You're going to have abilities. Undertaker won't have abilities when you play him in this game mode, so gives you the advantage. You then want to accept, and then let's go into the match. So as you can see, I'm using my created superstar in this, and uh, you know I get a few attacks off quite early. Obviously, Undertaker is going to attack you as well um, because you know that's just just what he does. Goes for the power slam there, um, but doesn't pin me, and he won't pin you straight off the start of the match. This is the full match you're seeing here, um, but all I'm trying to do is wear him down a bit as best I can. Um, you know, that, that's all you can do. Wear him down as best you can. Try not to, um, you know, because wearing him down angers him, which means he'll do more powerful moves on you, which means he will pin you earlier, which means you will have a much better chance of kicking out. But as I said, just keep running at him because he's going to power slam you. And eventually, he will pin you off it. And you'll see why. Um, it'll take a while to get going, but, uh, you know, just keep getting power slammed. Keep reversing when you can to, so you get up quicker and just keep getting power slammed because it's all useful to you. He goes for the crucifix there, doesn't pin me. But again, these are pinning combination moves that he's hitting me with. So... He's going to pin me in a second, just normally. Look how big that kick out meter was, a kick out at one. Uh, so that's one kick out. As you can see the counter on the screen, that'll indicate how many kick outs I've had. This will be pin at number two. And again, the green bar, it's moved slightly to the right, but it's still the same size. That was kick out number two. And yeah, you just keep running at him because it's the easiest way. And what makes this achievement even easier is you don't have to win the match once you've got the uh, once you've got the achievement you can kick out. This is pin number three. Again, it's in the same area as pin number two. Quite an easy kick out, um, and that's it. And then three and four come pretty quickly here um, because he's looking to finish me off quickly now. Uh, this is pin number four. Kick out, and then run at him. He goes for the crucifix this time kick out and the bar was all the same size there's the achievement unlock epic match 50 gamer score uh, if you do it normally that bar will get smaller and smaller and smaller and it will only pin you after finishes so just to add insult to injury really i uh, get pinned again and kick out uh, for a sixth time and then just to confirm there you go there's the achievement unlocked epic match for 50 gamer score there'll be more achievement guys coming in the future and uh, I've been Dave from Game Breakers, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.